Caitlin, I think that orange peel will be pretty good. On our island. Don't worry. Just Power so you don't peel. get that excess. Peel. Power peel. Yeah. 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 So again, swing that, that one. That's a short one. Okay. Swing that one back and forth as if you are swinging a rope. Mm. Mm. Okay. It's, it's not that uh, you know, flexible, so uh, swing. Ah, so here, again, you're, you're putting too much emphasis on the downswing. Yeah. Remember, these, try to do these and then let it go. So when I put too much emphasis on the downswing, what am I doing? That means you just uh, try to swing it with the your muscles in, in the way, uh, in the downswing. Try to use this active backswing. So keep still a more active backswing, and then create good wind up in the body, throw. Uh, the backswing is slow, backswing is slow. You have to speed up a bit more. Yeah, so, so when you have a fast backswing, naturally at the end you have to slow this down. That you're engaging these muscles already. And on the way down, the same muscles will, will be used in the downstream. Okay. If you go slow here and then try to. Okay. So you, t you tend to turn body quite a bit this way. Okay. But if you have faster back swing, automatically it will wind up from there, just to throw, then you don't need to turn this way that much. Wow. So again, speed up the back swing. Feel the, feel the wind up and then as you have active back, active slow down and then transition to the downswing, then you will feel that you are using these muscles better. Definitely. Mm. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, that fast back swing is good. Good, very good. Yes, yes. So okay. now, you are in the downswing, your low, low body action and the upper body turn are better timed. So my, my pushing off is better? Yeah, when you, when you try to use the arms here, you always you have uh, early opening and then try to do this. So you tend to turn quite a bit this way. But when you have active backswing, then you have less of that. So uh, use the active backswing and then wind up of the body. Throw the, yes, and then throw it this way. Yeah, now that's a, that's a lot better. So in the, in the downstream, all you need is uh, using the wind up here and then accelerate here and then throw in the direction you are hitting the ball. Mm -hmm. As you throw, kick the ground, and then bring this up here so that naturally your leg will uh, extend, the left leg will extend. Yeah, I don't know if I'm doing the left leg. Right? So, throw and then if you let this go diagonally up this way. No, no, no. In this one, you already move the hip this way and then try to use the arms here. Instead, by using the lower body and then if you just throw this and then stand on the left side here. If you throw, really, then you will be able to stand on the left side here. So, I'm, I'm up here, push. Yeah, both ways you are throwing, right? Yes. So in the back swing, throw in the back swing direction fast enough that you, it will give you good wind up here. And from there on the way down, also come down and then throw here. If you throw, left leg will be extended. Okay. Don't try to snap around, but rather throw. Yeah, that's better. And particularly in the back swing, in the back swing, the goal is to have a fast motion here, so you don't turn too early here. Always uh, you have a tendency of opening the pelvis too early. Remember, even in the back swing, you had the early pelvis motion, then it stopped, right? Yes. In the data. Yes. Because you tend to open the pelvis early in both directions. But your goal is to move the end of the rope whip around your body. So your leg action, your pelvis motion should promote this motion here, rather than 
Yes. Right? Okay. So again, pay attention to the end of the whip. Your goal is to move the whip faster around your body. Throw, throw. Yeah. So once you feel the motion of the end of the whip, then your lower body action will be better timed with upper body time. Yeah. So the goal is to move the end of the rope actively around your body and then actively around your body instead of the lower body will not really be able to help you. So you mm, 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 instead of So swing back and forth continuously. Okay. Throw both ways. Throw and then have good timing. Throw, 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 throw. Yep. So that way you can really catch your lower body action and then promote the upper body time. Okay. Throw, 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 throw. Throw. Yep. Yeah. Now, your lower body action is timed with the yes. the motion of the whip. Awesome. Now this is heavier, so it's uh, easier to feel the motion. So more than anything, if you if you have better timing, then you, you will feel that like this is a moving on their own. Yeah. But if if you really use the lower body correctly, then throw, throw. Throw, throw, throw. The leg action and the body turn and the whip motion. These are all harmoniously happening. Okay. Yeah. So pay attention always, whatever you deal with, whether it's a rope, it's orange whip, or the club, pay attention to the clever motion. And, and eliminate all the unnecessary body motion. You have to promote the good and the point motion. By letting it feel it. Right? <laughs> okay. Oh, autoflex. Auto <laughs> yep. So do I even need to worry about the, the No, as long as you throw, have a speedy motion here, automatically your body will try to slow this down, and the death slowdown will help go downswing motion. Okay. So don't try to control here. All you do is give enough speed, and then just the slow down nicely here, and the going into downswing. Okay. Now swing the clip back and forth as if you are swinging a rope. We can time it well, pay attention to the calibrated motion. Continuous motion. You don't have to, you don't have to make a, you know, oh, let's uh, remove the orange peel here, and then just the stand on the mat here. We cannot do this forever on, on this. So you have to have similar motion on the regular mat there. So. Uh, now your goal is to move the clavet around your body continuously. Yeah. So yeah. it doesn't have to be a golf swing like, okay? okay. Just to keep swinging back and forth continuously. Yeah. Yes, now you feel the <laughs> now you feel the clavet motion better. Yes, I can I can tell in the back swing you are yeah. really trying to bring the clavet around. Awesome. So that way you can maintain the contact or the control of your club all the way. If you just lift it here versus give enough momentum to the club so that let it go but you're holding it here, then naturally it'll come this way here wow. and then coming down. Always pay attention to the club head motion. Your goal is to move the club head around your body using rhythmic motion of the body instead of... Yeah. And always, uh, when you, even you, when you practice, always start from this side and then try to go here. Okay. So you can have more active back swing. Okay. Now, yes, yes. So you repeat the five swings now, five down swings. Earlier, you, your pelvis opened early. <laughs> but as you repeat the swing, it was a better time. Good. So this is, why, this is why you have to have continuous swing. Okay. And, and then, I'm not sliding anymore or opening? When you open, early open, then you tend to slide. <laughs> and then it's a dissociated. But I'm not doing that right now? 
as you repeat yeah. in these five swings, it got better. Yes. Because you started uh, timing the, the body motion correctly to wow. the uh, club motion yeah. again. Okay. So that's what you need to pay attention to. As you swing back and forth, make sure your lower body is, uh, uh, your legs are really helping the upper body turn, promote the upper body turn. I, I, I just don't know if the left one is much So uh, the, the, the best is just repeat the swing. Yeah, so here, the image is Yeah, again Yeah, as you repeat the swing, you, use the, you start using the left leg better So the left leg is just really extending and then letting it go. And then um, yes. go a bit easy with your wrist here. So keep the wrist motion at the end. Easier? Mm. What do you mean? Instead of holding it tightly here. Like at the dress or hold it tight? So you, you have to let the wrist motion happen more at the end of the swing, right? So currently everything is straightened. It's better to keep uh, this. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is that if you look at the data, mm -hmm. your lean angle, the spine lean or the thorax lean, it uh, decrease, uh, it increases as uh, you you do the back swing. That means initially you are standing a bit too upright here, okay. but during the back swing you are leaning forward. Okay. But then you can start from even the lean the position here, and then just uh, do this. So you're saying lean yeah, more yeah, yeah. Then when you do that you will see that uh, more angle here, right? Yeah, rather than... Okay. From there. Yes, now the timing is a lot better in the downside. Awesome. You are using, you're using the body more harmoniously yeah. with the color motion. I feel it. I don't want to hit myself with the rope. So <laughs> my head at the beginning. So this is the idea. Yeah. Always the goal is to uh, promote the good motion of the end point of the, the device you are dealing with, right? Uh -huh. Then you have to use the body in such a way that you really promote that motion. Okay. But if uh, pelvis slides or, or the uh, hip moves backward too much, like this, in this position, all you do is just uh, leading the body like this and then just try to let it go. But you cannot really promote best motion of the club when you're in that position. So the lower body motion is, is the engine of the whole thing. So it drives everything. But at the same time, you have to have the right lower body posture so that you can really take advantage of it. You have rockets and missiles here. You only have rifles and uh, handguns here. Got it. You want to use the heavy artillery. Yeah, right? okay. And again. Okay. And also ease the wrist a little bit so that Toward the impact position, you can really let go here. Remember, your wrist uncocking occurs earlier. So go ahead and add the wrist motion here. And on the way down here, and then add the wrist motion. So I have the image of um, you know, a gum or sticker sticking uh, on the head, and you want to shake it off. Okay. In order to shake it off, you have to use the wrist motion here to shake it off. right? So the wrist motion should be toward the impact. Yes. Yes, interesting. The first downswing, in the first downswing, your body went too early here. Really? But from the second one, you just supporting your body, you are letting it like this go. Awesome. So you have that habit, and then uh, gradually as you repeat this, you will be able to change it. Okay. Let me record this. Okay, ready, go. As if you're swinging a rope or orange whip. Oh, <laughs> the timing now is not better. It feels so much faster. Ready, go. As if you're swinging a rope or orange whip. Oh. 
Good. Initially, let's go back to the first one. Pay, pay attention to uh, the pelvis motion. So initially, this pelvis motion was occurred a bit earlier, and then this followed. But as you repeat, as you repeat, the timing improves quite a bit. So now, from this point on, the swing motion is uh, synchronized with the leg action. You see how straightened now your leg is? I can see that, yeah, definitely. Awesome. It's because your goal is to try to promote the club motion using the leg action. So it's a better time now. Yes. So repeat this a lot. Okay. okay. So the rope, uh, orange, this is short one, but you can also go with the mid-sized one. Okay. And then the, the club. Always when you swing these things, your intention is to promote motion of the end of the yeah. device, right? Yes. If your body moves early here, then you let the club go this way. But if your goal is to move the club head around your body, and you don't really let it go away from your body, but rather you want to follow that, the path you have here. And I'll know I'm going to ride if it hits me in the right spot, right? Mm. Okay. okay. And, then, and then also you can do a, in the bare hands, swing, swing, so the throw. Yes, yes. So here, again. Up, 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 up turn, up turn, up turn, up turn, up turn, up turn. So you, at, at the end of your up motion is basically a good turn here. Uh -huh. mm. Okay. Keep, keep doing that. And then and the emphasize the up, up, up. So if you are a conductor of an orchestra, Instead of going one, two, three, four, like this. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. So just to pay attention to up, up, up motion. And then when you have a really active uh, leg push with that, you'll be able to generate good shoulder turn. Okay. The push has to give you a good shoulder turn. And then in doing that, you have to have a faster backswing here, faster okay. backswing. Then it will improve the connection to the downstream automatically. Okay. You will use the muscles better. So you should have the, the, the feel of uh, slowing this down actively. Okay. Instead of just the lift of, lift the arms and club up here to a certain position, then you try to do everything here. Rather, throw and they have an active uh, slowdown that will give you Wind up and then it's building tension in the muscles using that and then let it go. Yes. Then you have better timing. Okay. So how come so on the back swing, how come I'm like more on this side than the down swing? I don't feel like I'm Because I'm still your pelvis is sliding too much. Okay. It's hard to push the ground. So what's going on? This is something you have to practice a lot okay. intentionally. Okay. Um, so go here the, when you have a good push here, okay. the, so the heel lifted. The from here, as you go down, instead, don't try to uh, even uh, shift here. Just okay. from here, by dropping the heel and then just turn around. Got it. Again, go up here, dropping the, dropping the heel and then just turn around. Still, your pelvis is, uh, you tend to go too far here. So instead of going all the way you can go, you have to stop somewhere by using the leg actions. So when you push the ground hard with the left leg, and also the muscles in the hip, it will, it will uh, limit the pelvis, pelvis turn. Is, is that good, where it's at right now? No, it's, a little bit, it's still too much. Really? Okay. So Here. activate the, the hip muscles, and then push, and then uh, you, are, you are losing this uh, hip control here. You have to use these hip muscles, and then push so that it doesn't go all the way. So you currently, when, when, when your hip muscles are not activated that well, then it will slide backward quite a bit and also slide toward the tight quite a bit. I see. But when you kick, kick, and your goal is to move the hip up, then you have to have these hip muscles activated, hip extensors should be activated. Mm, then it will limit this motion and this motion. Kick 
Uh, still. Okay. Still? Uh, one reason for that is that if you drop this side too much, okay. that automatically slides. Uh, so here, in the back swing, okay. if you have slight reverse pivot posture, huh. try just to turn around here. Just to turn here. That you don't have to... Uh, so have good push with the ground and then use the hip muscles. This is uh, what you have done for so long. So it's a, but instead of paying attention to that, no. try to match the timing. Okay. You promote this turn by using the left leg. As you practice this more and more, and then unconsciously, you will stop sliding too much. Okay. So sometimes uh, if you think more, more about that, it's, it's, it's harder to, uh, to fix that. So then deviate your attention to something else, and then automatically, you know, before you notice, it goes away. Okay. So the key is, key is promoting good turn using the lower body action. Turn, 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 as you do that, you will see that this is sliding is unnecessary. So this uh, old grip, I think it's really good here. Okay. The short one here. The swing, the orange whip, and they keep good speed in the back swing, and then actively slow down and throw. So as you swing hard with the lower body, the support from the lower body, then you will be able to eventually fix the rhythm. Okay. And also, as you swing this time, as you swing, keep your gaze on this side here, to the target, all the way. Hmm. Keep swinging. So then you have better support from your left leg. Really? This is uh, called the external or external focus of attention. But uh, sometimes when you, when you direct your attention to something else, your body motion organizes better. Wow. Particularly the pelvis motion, this motion here. If you gaze on the target and swing, swing, then this goes up high. Okay. So sometimes just simply, uh, you know, directing your attention away from uh, your hip motion. Okay. Yeah, that uh, gives you better the organization of the motion. Okay. Yeah. So, but again, the idea is in the back swing, activate the right leg more. And then lift the left heel, lift the left heel a little more. Let it go. So the, the timing is a lot better now. Okay. So uh, you have uh, a lot of resources here. You have to take advantage of that. All right. Mm. I can do that. Mm. Thank you, Dr. Kwan. Yep.